Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to December 2023 general monthly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And if you don't already know, I have, am having and still having a surprise giveaway, which there still is time. I'm taping today is the 27th of November, and the surprise giveaway is through November 30th. So if you would like to enter, all you have to do is listen to a video all the way through, like this one, and then you messenger me or you email me the word surprise and I will enter you in the surprise giveaway. Okay, and you can enter as many times as you like. So with that, Aries, let's get to the very important transits going on. So if I spoke about Mars being in Sagittarius last month, I got ahead of myself because it is right now that Mars is in Sagittarius. Last month, it was in Scorpio. And it just recently on the, let me see here, the, yes, on the 25th, so just a couple days ago, it transitioned from Mars in Scorpio to Mars in Sagittarius and it will remain in Sagittarius through the 4th of January. And so that's a big deal because like I said last month, it is going to be square to transiting Saturn, which right now it's close degree square to transiting Saturn. And again, that is transiting Mars. And that's a big deal because that's Mars is the planet and being in Sagittarius, Sagittarius is a very expressive, verbally expressive, and also very passionate. It's fire. And so it's, and Mars is already naturally a very fire, passionate, even explosive, energetic, physically, actively energetic and verbal sign anyway. And so with squaring Saturn, Saturn is authority figure, so that could mean in the world, for example, the government or any uh, conglomerate, business, big business, whatever that might be, whatever the authority figure, and you're gonna see clashes with authority figures and maybe even truths too, because once we, first of all, the first half, so now through the first half of December, close degree square with those two planets. And then the second half of December through the first week of January, we're going to have a close degree square with Mars and Neptune in Pisces. So that's going to bring a little different expressive, very passionate expression to the fore having to do with truth reality as opposed to fantasy and what we all have thought was reality and then what really is true. A lot of that going on. So that's big energy. And of course, we still have Uranus, transiting Uranus in Taurus, conjunct with, even though it's not a close conjunction, with transiting Jupiter in Taurus. So that's a big deal as well. Okay. Moving on, we also are going to have the new moon on the 12th of December in Sagittarius as well. And so if you have anything in Pisces or if you have anything in Virgo, those two signs square anything in Sagittarius. And also today I'm taping on the full moon in Gemini. And so that will also square anything that you might have in Pisces or Virgo as well. Okay. Full moon, the next full moon in 
December will be on the 27th, and it will be in Cancer, 4 degrees, 58 minutes. Okay, and let's see, moving on, we still, of course, have Pluto in Capricorn. It begins the month at 28 degrees, and then by the end of the month, 29 degrees. And then if you have maybe Aries, you might have an Aries Chiron, natal Chiron, because we have transiting Aries Chiron still, and it's 15 degrees this month. And then we also have North Node in Aries, and it begins the month right now at 23 degrees, and then by the end of the month, 21 degrees. And so you might want to check, do you have a North or South Node in Aries? That's going to affect you if you do. And also, just in generally, Pluto is square to, and it's a close, fairly close square to transiting North Node in Aries and South Node in Libra. So that's a big deal for everybody. Okay, let's, I guess that is it. Oh, I didn't speak about quickly. Venus is going into Scorpio on the 5th of December through the 29th. And so that is going to oppose transiting Uranus and Taurus and transiting Jupiter in Taurus. Okay, now Aries, let's see what is going on for you personally. And if this reading isn't right for you, you might want to check out your moon sign, your rising, your south or north nodes of the moon, or a combination of them to get a whole rounded picture of what is happening for you specifically this now through the end of December. Okay, for Aries, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Aries. Things are coming in fast, I'm getting. Whether it's information, physical action, just we've got fast moving energies. And I'm and you are already a fast moving energy Aries, and so that's just going to compound that speed of movement, physical movement, mental, emotional, whatever that is. And so I'm also getting maybe some of you might uh, it might be best to put the brakes on or calm down. Make sure you stay calm during this month with all this activity that's going on. Okay, we first came up, came out with 44, which is a master number, so that could definitely be one of your signs or synchronicities. Seeing fours, 44, 444 four, four this month, so you might wanna pay attention to uh, what is going on around you. That is, this is also the sixth house of sustain, sustainability. So maybe something with your finances is going to change. Going to, um, yes, and, and it's, again, it's fast, it's going to change. And I'm not getting any specific way this is a general reading. It could be for the better, it could be um, just a, a drastic change one way or the other. We're talking Uranus, so it could be rather surprising. But again, it has to do with your uh, sustainability. To me, that is your security base in, in one way, shape, or form, in some way for you. And it could be significant around if you're, if you see, if you pay attention to signs or synchronicities, you see 44 or 444, pay attention because it's definitely, could definitely be um, telling you something about what is coming right ahead for you having to do with this big change in your finances is what I'm getting or it, Your daily health also, finances, daily, because the sixth house has to do with health and daily routine. There's a, a drastic change, but I'm getting it's it's all together. The finances are in there. So whether you, maybe you're not, I'm getting for some of you, you may be, you don't have enough finances and you are needing more in order to, to do 
uh, something for your health that you are seeking to do for yourself. Okay, balance. And also again, back to this daily routine. Your daily routine is gonna change and it's going to come in fast and it can be rather surprising. You're not gonna see it coming necessarily, but just go with the flow and because it is taking you in a direction that is very, very positive for you and what your soul is desiring is what I'm getting, Aries. Okay, also uh, this next card is the Libra card. It's about balance. Yes, make sure you stay balanced. And you might have Pisces in your chart, you don't have to, but that I talked about balance and going with the flow and that, and I'm seeing that with you two areas as well. And I'm also, this is number seven. Seven could be a, a special number for you. It could be your life path for some of you, number seven. It doesn't have to be. But what I'm getting is something is also balancing out for you. It's To me, this is like the justice card. So swear you weren't getting justice where something was out of balance in your life. In some way, shape, or form, this is going to be different for all of you. I'm getting that it's going to balance out for you now through the end of December or begin the process of balancing out for you. And I'm getting... I was drawn back to the number seven. Seven is a very spiritual number, so this could absolutely have to do with uh, in the spiritual realm for you or on your spiritual purpose for you, for some of you, is what I'm getting. Okay, is there anything else for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Getting something about a jewel or a gem. I'm just being drawn to, I don't know if you can see that, to me when I was not really sure what that is, but it looks like a jewel or gems to me um, with this on the scales. And something about a, you are a gem to behold. There's something, there's a jewel to be found, or you will see that jewel to be found, but it has to do with balance. It has to do with you making sure you stay in balance and or, again, this is a general reading, that whatever's coming into balance for you that was out of balance, you are, you're really going to, it's, it's something significant. It's something significant for you, like a gem would be. It's unique, it's special. And I'm getting surprised. I could very well not see this coming. Okay, yeah, you definitely could have Pisces in your chart because we just have, this was with Pisces 2, number 40, and it's resources. It's the second house, second house. That's what it has to do with your value, what you value. And the reason why money and possessions is in the second house is because that has everything to do with your value and how you, what you value and how you value yourself. Something is increasing. And I'm just getting, you get, I, I'm again being drawn to this arrow like I was in Pisces, but it's saying something different to me. For you, Aries, it's saying you've hit the nail on the head. You have, you've been, you know, like the arrow in Sagittarius, they, or the warrior, you've, you've been going for something. And you've been very specific about what you have been working towards and you've hit it or you're hitting it this month. All that hard effort is going to pay off is what I am getting. And you will have more than enough resources for whatever you are striving towards. Maybe if some of you haven't had enough resources to, to get something going that you have envisioned for yourself, you will definitely have the resources. Okay, 
and that's number 40. And then we have South Node, the past. 33, that's another master number, so you could definitely be seeing 33, 333, it's a big deal, pay attention, is what I'm getting. And South Node, again, yes, it is our past. In astrology, which if you don't already know, I'm an astrologer of 28 plus years, and I specialize in the nodes of the moon. And the South Node is, is, is our personal work in this life, but it's at birth, it's put into our subconscious. So everyone automatically does their South Node. It's the, it's the past, it's what we know, it's familiar. It makes us feel like if we go about life in that specific way, then we're going to get our needs met. And again, this is a program, it's automatic, it's in your subconscious. You don't even know that it's in there until you bring it out into your conscious awareness, which is, that's what everybody's personal work is, is to bring that subconscious program that's being done automatically, that is blocking us, out into our conscious awareness by your natal wheel by finding out what that is and by then reading, reading your specific nodes of the moon, what your specific south node is. You have at least two parts. One is going to be the zodiac sign and the other part is going to be the house placement sign. And, but this is where time of birth needs to be exact is the house placement where the house house is concerned or houses and it's also your ascendant. That depends very much upon your exact time of birth. And you can have up to four parts if you're on the cusp of your nodes of the moon. So this is very critical, very essential. And it has been suppressed because this is where we gain our power back, unblocking ourselves having our free will, true free will in this life. Okay. All right. So, and if you don't know and you desire, again, you don't have to come to me, but if you would like to, and that sounds right for you, then send me an email because I would love to assist you. This is my passion and my mission in this life. And so just let me know and I can also send you uh, the natal wheel and your nodes of the moon free of charge. I always and have been and will continue. I email that back to you. That's why I need you to email me so I can email that back to you. And so just send me your all of your information and I will do that. And then I will also, if you like, I can send you my private readings list and, and that if you'd like to go further. So again, yes, I'm. this is what I'm here for. This is why I started this channel, okay. So let's go and see Aries, what else? What else does Aries need to know? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Oops, for Aries. Whoa. Ah, new moon in Libra. Now you might have Libra placements because this is the second card for Libra and I'm just being drawn to say that. New moon in Libra, no you are loved, Aries. You are loved dearly, deeply. And also loving yourself, of course, is where everything starts because we can't, we cannot accept others' love if we don't have that deep, unconditional love for who we truly are. And again, if you don't know, South Node, your Chiron even, is where we are injured and going to be injured, but where we can heal ourselves, 
also, but we have to know consciously, just like our notes in the moon. Okay, so let's keep, let me bring this over a little bit. Let's get into some tarot cards and see what else comes up for you, Aries. What other details does Aries need to know for this month? What do they need to know? What's happening for them this month? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the, whoa, there we go, Aries. Again, another balance card, and it's about you are moving from chaos into balance, more in balance with who you truly are and connecting with who you truly are and what is your mission, what, what is in alignment for you. That's what I see. You, and I, I'm seeing that most of you, you're in process of this and you have been. And maybe some of you are wondering, when am I gonna get out of this chaos? It's really chaos, I'm ready for peace, I'm ready for just that peace and calm, and you're heading there, you really are heading there. And even if you can't physically see it yet, again, I'm being called to say that it begins with inside you. So any any time this month, because there is a lot, it's a lot going on energetically, and it is to catapult all of us forward. That's, that's what it really is. It starts the friction. And so if you have any friction, emotional friction within yourself, you are triggered at all this month, check in with you because it has to do with you. And, and somehow there is some information there for, your, for you to gain so that you can properly let go of something, go beyond blockage, whatever that might be, to, it's to benefit you so that you can continue to move into calmer waters for yourself and just be at peace within you. Okay, so what else for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, yes, strength. You have strength and you are gaining strength. And any, any of you that have been or are this month going to be challenged, it's to strengthen you. And you can do this. You are courageous. You are courageous. You are, you are much stronger than you think you are as well. And you are much more courageous than you think you are. And some of you, maybe you already do know that because you have, you, you've gone through so much and you've accomplished so much. Maybe it's just a little time, take a little time for yourself to sit with yourself, to go over and, and just recount, recount what you have already gone through, the storms you've already weathered and, and what have made you stronger, wiser, more courageous. You found your inner strength, your inner you that you wouldn't have found without all of that help, all of those storms that you've gone through up to this point. That's beautiful, Aries. And number eight, again, has to do with wealth. It has to do with abundance. And what I get is, yes, abundance is coming your way. You're going to be able to see, and maybe you are, um, this, is this is the chariot, and, and I'm just seeing, you're looking straight ahead. You, again, you've, like I said in the beginning, you have a pinpoint and, and very much focused on what you were desiring to, to um, get done and and what you're passionate about. You're very confident and you have known that and you very have been and you will continue to be seeing the road ahead, straight ahead. And what I'm getting with that is you also have the ability, even if you don't realize it, to, oh, I just got cut your losses. 
Okay, so that needed to come through. Cut your losses. But what I wanted to see, and maybe this has to do with cutting your losses, you seeing that the your path, the quickest way or the straightest path for you, if that makes sense. Let's see if I can say that more plainly. And, and maybe this has to do with you've been so determined and maybe there is something else there that you're going to be able to see that you don't see right now having to do with your path so that maybe it's been a little windy and you've wanted to cut to the chase. You want it more straightforward and again, a straight path you to know precisely a, a more direct, straight path for yourself. And so maybe it has to do with being courageous. Maybe it has to do with getting back in balance with yourself and calming down. And then you're going to work more strategically. So less physical work and you're going to accomplish a lot more if you take the time to calm down and here again with this sustainability balance your, and balance yourself you will be able to work more wisely with your time with your physical time, with your emotions, with all of that will be way more beneficial and it will get you there quicker than maybe what you thought before in the way that you've been going in the past. By cutting away some things is what I'm getting to. Again, this is about balance too, balance, balancing your life. Maybe you've been working a little too hard and you need a little more fun. Maybe you've been having too much fun and you need to put a little more time and effort and thought into your business or your passion or whatever that is. But you're going to be able to see clearer and see straight ahead and how to do that. Whether it is cutting away something or even people for some of you. Again, this is a general reading. So it's gonna be different for all of you. Okay. Okay, so Aries, I hope this has helped you. Until next time, bye.